Hey guys, today we're going to be doing another underrated brands video and I started doing this series because there are some truly fantastic brands out there that hardly anybody talks about on YouTube anymore. So I want to just put a spotlight on these brands and tell you guys some of my absolute favorite must have products from them that you might be missing because you've just either never heard of them or maybe you have heard of them but the hype has just kind of died down and you totally forgot about them. So um, what I'm going to do, just like I did with the first video in this series when I talked about Laura. I'm just gonna go through a brief history of the brand because I think a lot of us don't really know how brands started and where they came from so I found it kind of interesting and a lot of you guys did too if you don't really care about the history of the brand and you just want to skip to some of my favorite products I'll put a timestamp on the screen so that you know where to skip to um, but first let's just dive right in I just have a couple of notes here so I don't forget anything um, so the bomb was started by Marissa Shipman she actually started by mixing products in her kitchen and then ended up hiring a chemist and their first product was born and that was the plump your pucker lip gloss which they actually still make today and in the beginning it was sold in just a couple of stores like Henry Bendel, Fred Siegel and Kitson and then Cher ended up buying the gloss and it ended up in InStyle magazine and the brand kind of took off from there and this was in 2004 by the way I don't know if I mentioned that and I actually started working at Sephora um, back in 2004 and I don't know if it was later that year or maybe 2005 that Sephora started carrying the balm as well. I remember setting up the end cap. That was part of my job at Sephora. I did the merchandising. So whenever new brands came in, I would set up their displays. And I remember it well, because I always thought that it was a really, really cute name for a brand. And at the time, they only had the Plump Your Pucker lip glosses, but they came in several different colors. So I remember like setting up the little display, putting the lip glosses in, and eventually it did expand to a couple more products. But by the time I left Sephora in 2007, it wasn't the huge brand that it is today they still really had just a few products and at that time I actually moved to go be with my husband because we had a long-distance relationship and I ended up not being near a Sephora store anymore so I really didn't have access to the balm at all back in those days and um, fast forward to like 2014 I was back here in Connecticut and I was writing my blog the budget beauty blog and I actually have a blog post of this so I will link that down below in case you're curious just to check out my thoughts on it back then um, but uh, one of my readers had actually asked me if I had ever tried Mary Luminizer from the bomb and I had never heard of it I didn't even know what a highlighter was this was before the whole highlighter trend took off but I would say it was pretty close to when it started to get popular so um, this reader of mine had asked me if I had ever tried it I said you know no I, I don't even know what that is but I know about the bomb and she said you could find it at Kohl's which I had no idea so then I went to Kohl's the next day and I saw Saw the bombs display and I couldn't believe how much the brand had grown since I had last seen it and so I picked up what I thought was Mary Luminizer but it ended up being Cindy Luminizer I grabbed the wrong one and got it home and I was just blown away by the formula how smooth it was and um, you know I hadn't tried a highlighter before but I kind of did some research on how to use them and putting them on the high points of your face and just fell in love with it and I ended up going back and buying Mary Luminizer and then I started buying their blush Brushes, eventually eyeshadow palettes I was using up all my Kohl's cash on the balm at one point in time it was just like an addiction I just kept going back and getting more but these days I usually wait until they have their 50% off site-wide sale because it's something they do several times a year and 50% off is kind of hard to beat you know it's not just like 10 or 20 I mean it's huge so a lot of the time I can get like one of their blushes for like 10 11 dollars instead of 20 or 21 and it brings it down to almost like drugstore prices so it definitely pays to wait until they have those sales they actually just had one um, last month so I definitely recommend waiting for one of those sales to pop up every couple months um, the only downside to them though is you have to be quick I would sign up for their emails to be notified because I tend to hit the sale as soon as I can because the best-selling products and also new things that have come out recently tend to sell out very very fast and a lot of times I miss out on them so, so that's just a quick tip if you're planning on shopping any of their sales but overall I think they're just an amazing brand and I can't wait to share my favorites with you guys just something to keep in mind they are cruelty free 
paraben free and all of their powders are talc free which is something you don't really see a lot of these days and I know a lot of people are concerned about talc possibly containing asbestos so just know that all of their powders do not contain talc at all and also most of the products are made in the USA all of my palettes that I have with the exception of one that's made in Poland also their lip products are made here in the US so I would say most of the brand is made in the United States the only things that I've seen that aren't are the eyeliners and brow pencils which are made in Germany Germany, and the mascara that I have mad lash is made in Italy I don't know if all of their mascaras are but I know for sure that one is so anyway why don't we go ahead now and jump into um, some of my favorite products and we'll start with blush because their blushes are I think by far my favorite product that they make I have quite a few of them so I'm gonna go through and show you guys close-ups and swatches of all of them so starting with the first one we have hot mama and this one is one of my favorites it's a beautiful peachy pink shimmery blush and it's almost a spot-on dupe for NARS orgasm it's really super close and this blush can also be used on the eyes if you wanted to use it as eyeshadow actually almost all of the bombs blushes can also be used as eyeshadow so that's a great thing as well and next we have frat boy frat boy is probably my favorite out of all of them this one is a rosy pink but I feel like it has a little like peach and coral to it it's absolutely beautiful especially on my skin tone it's one of my go-to blushes and this one has kind of like a satiny finish it's not not a flat matte but it also has no visible shimmer to it next up we have down boy down boy is a sweet cool toned pink with no visible shimmer also but again it has that little bit of satiny finish this one can also be used on the eyes as well and then we have cabana boy which is a dusty rose with plum undertones this one has a very subtle shimmer to it it's barely noticeable um, but this one is a little bit on the deeper side so I do have to go sparingly with this color and next up we have Balm Beach. This one's described on their website as a bronzer slash blush, so you can use it either way. Um, this one is a really light color. It's a nude shade with almost like a little hint of pink. And I find that this one is a really subtle shade if you have fair to light skin tones. It's really beautiful and that little bit of rosiness makes it a super natural looking bronzer. Uh, and then we have Balm Desert, which is basically a deeper version of Balm Beach. It also has that rosy undertone, which looks really, really natural and no shimmer to this one as well I think this one looks super pretty as a blush but on me it's a little bit too deep to use all over as a bronzer then we have balm springs this one is a gorgeous earthy rose blush it has a matte finish and it's just a gorgeous color that can either be sheared out if you have a lighter skin tone or built up pretty easily if you have a deeper skin tone and then the last two blushes I have are from their Instain line. They have several different um, shades of this. I only have two of them, but um, these are actually a staining powder blush. So they're supposed to be super long lasting on the cheeks. Actually, all of their blushes I find to be extremely long lasting. So that's just one more thing I really, really enjoy about their formula. Um, so the first one I wanna show you is Argyle. And this one is a really light cool tone pink. Again, just super long lasting on the cheeks. It lasts all day on me, which is really awesome and it's more of a matte finish and then the other one I have is called Swiss dot this one is a peachy orange with no shimmer and when I first saw this I thought it might be a little bit too dark but oh my gosh I'm enjoying this shade so much I just got this during their last sale I'm wearing it on my cheeks today I've been wearing this color non-stop it's just the most beautiful like corally color for summertime it's gorgeous all right, so moving on, the next product I highly recommend you check out from the Balm is their Take Home the Bronze Bronzer. So this one comes in three shades. I have the lightest one called Oliver, and the Balm calls this an anti-orange bronzer, and it definitely is. There is not one hint of orange or warmness to this color, which I really love because a lot of bronzers tend to pull orangey on me, and I have a pink undertone, so that can tend to clash and look really off and not right. So this color is just perfect, not only in tone, but just the color itself it's not too dark not too light it's just the perfect shade for my skin tone it's really long lasting as well and I think the powder is very soft and finely milled and it just blends easily without getting muddy so definitely check out this bronzer because it's one of my favorite bronzers in my entire collection the next product I would highly recommend checking out is their luminizers. So if you're into highlighters, these are some of the absolute best. I'm not really a highlighter person these days, but even I can admit that these are just a beautiful formula. They're so super smooth. They come in three different shades. You have Mary Luminizer, which is more of that golden champagne color. Then you have Cindy Lou, which is kind of like a peachy pink. And then you have Betty Lou, which is a bronzy tone. And these are so super smooth. Even if you have texture, I don't find that these really 
really accentuate the texture on my cheeks at all. So I think they're just a beautiful formula. So this palette that I have is the Menizer Sisters, which has smaller versions of each of them. They also are sold individually. Um, I'm not quite sure if they make this palette anymore. If they do, I'll leave it linked down below. Otherwise, I'll just list them individually. But I, you know, if you like highlighters, I would definitely recommend checking these out because they're some of the best. The next product is one that I've also been using for many, many years now. I actually just repurchased three of them during the sale because my old ones were getting dried out. But these are the Mr. Right eyeliners. So I have three different shades to show you. The first one is Seymour Love Letters, which is a really beautiful bronze. The second one is Seymour Romance, which is a plum shade. And then um, the third one is Seymour Diamonds, which is black. And not only are these a super creamy and very long lasting formula, they're also one of the only eyeliners I've tried that actually will draw in my waterline and draw easily. I hate using an eyeliner and trying to go in the waterline and having to go back and forth because it just tends to irritate my eyes. But with these, they draw in the waterline so effortlessly and it's just like one and done. And like I said, they last all day on my eyes so i really really enjoy this formula a lot and when it comes to eyeliners i feel like hardly anybody talks about these but they are amazing and then when it comes to lip products i also want to shout out their bomb jour lip stains these are actually a creamy lip stain so they're like a hybrid between a gloss and a lip stain and you know if you've tried lip stains before that they can be incredibly drying on your lips but these actually feel like a gloss going on and the shine wears away and you're just left with a beautiful stain that still feels creamy throughout the day. So keep in mind, this isn't something that dries down all the way and that you're not gonna feel. You will feel it if you like press your lips together. It's not sticky, but you feel like it's there. Um, but I just love it because as somebody with really dry lips, I can't wear traditional lip stains because they make my lips look awful. And these just keep my lips looking smooth, but they last so much longer than a traditional lipstick or lip gloss. So that's why I love these. I'm wearing the shade Ola today. I love it. It's just like a really pretty peachy pink. And I love that I can get hours of wear out of a lip product without it feeling like it's wrecking my lips. So I'll show you swatches of the two shades that I have. Um, Ola, which is the one that I'm wearing, Wearing. and then Salute which is more of a mauve pink so I definitely want to pick up more shades of these because I feel like this is a really unique product that you don't see anywhere else on the market. Another really great product of theirs is the Mad Lash Mascara. They have other ones too, but this one is definitely my favorite. I think I get the biggest lashes out of it, and um, it's just a really nice formula. I picked this up again during their 50% off sale, and it's just a little mini size. And I tend to buy mini sizes of mascara all the time anyway, because I almost never get through an entire tube of mascara in only three months. So anyway, this formula, like I said, it gives me huge lashes. It has a really nice curved brush that's really skinny, so it gets right up to the root of my lash. Lashes. It's not a clumpy formula, but it is a little bit more of a wet formula that you can really build up easily And it just gives me so much length and volume But also that like fluttery lash look which I really really love It's not heavy or like weighing down my lashes and it lasts all day without smudging or clumping So really there's nothing bad I can say about this I think it's a super solid mascara and I was so glad to pick up another tube I hadn't tried it in a few years, but once I got this tube I've been using it a ton and just really really enjoying it. All right, so next up, let's talk palettes. I have a bunch of their palettes. I think their eyeshadow formula across the board is really, really good. So you honestly can't go wrong with any of their eyeshadows, but I just wanted to show you guys some of my favorite palettes that I've been using the most. So let's start out with these first. These are the What's the Tea palettes. So they have a cool tone version and a warm tone version. And these are really unique and interesting because inside you get primers that are built in so you have a regular eyeshadow primer and then you also have a black one which can change the color of some of these shadows that are in here i would say it works the best on the lighter eyeshadows versus the deeper ones i don't notice like a huge difference when you layer the deeper shadows over the black primer but certainly the lighter ones it actually changes their color quite significantly so i'm going to go ahead and show you some swatches of both palettes let's start out with the cool toned one and what you're looking at is the top row is the shadow swatched with with no primer whatsoever the second row is the shadow swatched over the regular primer so you can see that they kind of take on a little bit more depth and they just look a little bit richer and more vibrant and then the bottom row is the shadows swatched over the black primer so you'll see that some of them don't look all that different but some of these lighter shades look completely different so it's almost like you're getting some additional eyeshadows out of it and it really allows you to be creative and just play a little bit more so that's one thing that 
that I really, really enjoy about these palettes. Um, so that was a cool toned one. And then I'll show you the warm tone. I did the exact same thing. The top row is the shadows just by themselves. The middle row is over the regular primer. And then the bottom row is over the black primer. And even though I love cool tones, I think this one is probably my favorite. It's the one that I use the most just because I really love this color story. Even though it's warm, it's not like a super overly warm, like red orange kind of palette. I really just love these tones. And I'm actually wearing this palette on my eyes today and I'm using um, this shade right here, which I absolutely love. It's like a gorgeous duochrome greenish brown. It's so stunning. And I actually did layer it over the black primer and I feel like it just makes it so much more intense. So I just love this. Like I said, I love their formula. I think it's fantastic. Um, another palette I really, really enjoy is one of their all matte palettes and this is Meet Matte Nude. So this one has a lot of really beautiful cool tones in it. I just love this. This is actually my second one. I purchased it years and years ago and actually was starting to hit pan on some of the shades. So I ended up buying this one again during um, a 50% off sale. I think it was last year. So I've already used this one a bit, but I just, I love their matte formula. I think it blends so beautifully. And I just love the colors in this one because they're kind of like really soft, earthy tones and they're just beautiful. Some of these colors you just don't find in other palettes. I love the mix of shades in here. So not that I really reach for all matte palettes all that often, but when I do, this is one of my absolute favorites. They also have another one called Meet Matrimony. So um, this one has a little bit more warm tones than the original one, but you also have a couple of cooler tones in here as well. So this one has a really nice mix. And again, just gorgeous, easy to wear neutral shades. If you love an all matte palette, definitely one to check out. And then last but not least are these alternative rock palettes. These are also so adorable. I never hear anybody talking about them. Again, they made a warm and a cool. So depending on your preferences, you have like different options. And these are great travel palettes. So inside you get six eyeshadows, a highlighter, blush, and bronzer. And I feel like the pan sizes of these, while they're small, they're not so small that I feel like you can't get a brush into them. They're really a great size. The eyeshadows are a little on the small side too, but again, an eyeshadow brush is gonna fit into these just fine. So um, let me show you the cool toned one first. And I love these shades. I think these pinks and grays when it comes to the eyeshadows are just stunning. And the face colors are really good too. I think the bronzer is beautiful. It's not overly orangey. The blush is gorgeous. The highlighter has a gorgeous duochrome to it. And again, if you're not a highlighter person, you could even use this like for the inner corners of your eyes um, you could use the bronzer as a crease color as well you can use the blush I mean everything is kind of interchangeable so that's the cool tone one and then the warm tone one is just as gorgeous it's warm tone neutral so you have the gold and the bronze and the really beautiful warm browns and the blush in this one is probably my favorite it's just this absolutely stunning peachy color and then you have the gold highlight which again if you're not a highlighter person you could always use this on your eyes as well so these are just all around very solid travel palettes or you could just use them when you're home and you just want one palette to do your whole face really quick I love these, I think they're awesome. So anyway guys, those are just some of my favorites and must haves, but honestly, everything I've tried from the brand, I've liked. I really haven't been disappointed in anything, whether it's their face products, their lip products. Um, you know, I have other palettes that are really beautiful as well. These are just some of my favorites. I didn't wanna make the video too, too long, but I would love to hear what your favorites from the Balm are down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.